Welcome back to the Swing Clinic. We are here at Reynolds Plantation at the National Golf Course, a beautiful par three, number four. And we have a special guest with us today, Jim Hackenberg, PGA golf professional. And uh, Jim is the inventor of the orange whip. And he's also trying to steal my show right now. And I don't really Look know if I guy. like it, right? I mean, I came into the parking lot and I said, I can't wear bright pants. After I see those, the cameras can't handle all that brightness, Jim, all right? You're so. looking good, though. We have four of your instruments here today. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah, the Orange Whip is one of the most popular uh, training swing devices uh, in the world and uh, voted by that by the PGA Golf Professional, which you are. And uh, when your peers vote your product is the best, makes you feel good, doesn't it? Absolutely. No, I'm very proud of what we've done. And they're made in the USA. It's another proud moment. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about the Orange Whip first. Uh, you have many different uh, ways to use the Orange Whip to improve your golf swing. And being a PGA golf professional, uh, Jim knows the golf swing. He caddied on tour. Uh, again, he's a teaching golf professional, PGA professional. So run us through a little bit and let's have Christina demonstrate a lot of the different ways that you think, Jim, that it can uh, help our golf swing. Sure, absolutely. Now, as a golf instructor, most of my students would spend a lot of their time just hanging on tight and trying to hit at the golf ball. Right. My experience on the tour allowed me to see that rhythm and that balance. So I developed a tool to develop rhythm and balance. Right. So we've got to loosen up the body to get ready for practice. So with the orange whip, because of its unique design, we've got the weighted orange ball, the counterbalance, and the flexible shaft. This allows for you to feel the swinging motion, and Christina can demonstrate that for Perfect. us right and here. I have the uh, smallest version, the correct? Compact. The compact, okay. yes. Which you can Great. use inside, right, in, in some areas that maybe you can't use the longer one better places to practice. Absolutely or correct. Or not hit you guys. Exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so walk me through this. You bet. So I'm gonna have her get into her normal address position, start by slowly swinging back and forth, letting the momentum build. As she gets closer to her full swing, if she is in balance and has a good rhythm, she can increase her pace. So this is giving her swing for the day. It's developing a motion, it's keeping her in a good rhythm, and her balance is fantastic. Now, Jim, when, they, when Christina takes the golf club away, a lot of people, they jerk the golf club away right away. Yes. Gives you instant feedback here, doesn't it? Exactly right. The feedback is when it hits you in the back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's yeah, right. right. Because you want to take away the club slowly so you build up a nice swing arc. We've talked about taking it away with the core on the swing clinic before. This will help you do that, won't it? Absolutely right. Yep. Now, once she gets it to the top, what's the feedback she's going to see if she's doing it incorrectly there? There's two things. If she tries to throw the club down or come over the top, it's going to feel very awkward, pull her off balance. Okay. If she lets it fall behind her too much, it's going to drop in and get it to swing too far outside. Okay. So there's a moment of swinging where it all comes together and she can swing all that momentum toward her target. And that's our objective. Now, we, you know, we, don't, we can't play golf all the time. I mean, people are getting busier, as you know. We can't sure. hit as many balls as we would like to. Inside, you know, weather, I mean, not everybody's from... Beautiful Reynolds Plantation to have this weather all the time. Uh, what people use this as a device to, you know, when you can't hit golf balls, it'll train your golf swing right in your house, right? Sure. Before, what I tell people, before you get in the car, take your orange whip, swing it for three minutes in the garage. Or when you're at the office, take a break from that computer. We get all tied up in front of our computer. Loosen up, go outside, swing your orange whip. Yep. It'll stretch your body. It'll be like you hit a bucket of balls without leaving the I office. I told you guys, 100 practice swings a day when you can't play golf is huge. Well, guess what? This thing is what to use. When and you Jim, do what that. am I standing on? You're standing on the orange peel. The okay. orange peel came as a secondary thought. The orange whip synchronized the motion, but there still was some lateral movement in a lot of golfers' bodies. She's standing on a concave surface that, if you expanded it out, would be a nine foot sphere. That's going to center her core, and it's going to allow her to use an athletic rotary motion rather than that poor lateral motion. So it doesn't allow you to basically sway in golf terms, and it allows you to rotate a little bit more. Exactly right. So that's the first part of it, but also when we get her to move her feet just to the left, she can create an uphill lie. Yep. We can move her down back to the right, downhill lie, and she can move forward on it to create a ball above her feet, side hill lie. So in the comfort of your home or your garage, you can create all the lie angles you're gonna find on a golf course. All right, Jim, well, you know, we gotta get out of here because she's hit me with this thing like four times and I wanna be able to do another show, okay? But it's great to have a PGA golf professional that can explain, as the inventor of this product, can actually explain how it helps the golf swing, and uh, thanks for coming on the swing. I appreciate it, thank you. Yeah, and if you at home want to own your own Orange Whip, you can get one at orangewhiptrainer.com. You can also follow them on Twitter, at Orange Whip Golf. You can follow me, at Golf Christina. At Jimmy Hanlon. And we'll see you next time on Swing Clinic. Stability, speed, the descending blow on
my golf ball was so important. Whoa, what happened to the shanks? No shanks anymore. I've been spending time on JimmyHanlonGolf.com, the online home of PGA Pro Jimmy Hanlon. The tip of the week is great, and I found some great featured products to help my swing. I also can find out when the next episode of 18 Holes with Jimmy and the Swing Clinic will air. Hey, what are you doing over there? I'm on JimmyHanlonGolf.com looking for some putting tips.